The View Toolbar is the last series of icons in the second row. The View Toolbar affects what you see on your screen. Some of the icons affect designs and some affect pictures. These are all either on or off icons. They either show or they will hide whatever the icon is all about. Anything that is gold in this toolbar is activated or on. This makes it very easy to know what is activated. Let's first look at the icons that affect design. Artistic view toggles between looking at the design in realistic or in design view. By clicking on the icon again, it will go back to artistic view. The shortcut key for doing this is the letter T on your keyboard. To see the effect of some of the other icons, we need to be in design view. You'll notice that in design view, there are triangles and circles, and these represent the tie-ins and tie-offs of a design. Show stitches will show only the outlines of a design when it is toggled off as long as show outlines is turned on. If you turn show outline off, nothing will be visible except the tie-ins and tie-offs. I'm going to turn show stitches back on and you'll notice the difference when I also activate show outlines. So there'll be an outline of the object. Show points is next. And when this is turned on and you zoom in, you can view the needle penetrations of the design. Show connectors is next. And this will hide the jump stitches that you see in design view. You can see these dotted lines going from one object to another. Jump stitches that will be cut do not show in artistic view, but shorter stitches that will not be trimmed will show in artistic view. Let's talk about the show hoop icon next. Left clicking on the hoop icon will show the currently selected hoop or will hide it. If you right click on the hoop icon, the select hoop dialog box opens so that you can change the hoop if you wish. Show template will show the plastic hoop template that comes with your machine. This can help you position designs. Show grid is next and this will deactivate show template because you cannot have both of these activated at the same time. When I turn it back off, the grid will go away. The ruler icon turns the rulers on and off. Next, let's look at the view icons that affect pictures. The first picture icon is called dim, and it will dim the artwork of both the vector image as well as the bitmap. You'll learn about these two different types of picture files in a later video. If I click on bitmaps, it's going to hide or show the bitmap. And when I click on the vector icon, it will hide or show the vector image. The view icons not covered in this video will be discussed in other videos as they relate to specific features of the software. The software will remember what you had last activated in the view menu. So when the software reopens, the same icons will be activated as when you close the software. If you wish to have something deactivated in the view menu, make sure you have that icon deactivated before closing the software.